listen in. Yeah, yeah Eric, this is this is why we got him. You know, we didn't get him to throw in April. We didn't get him to throw in May. We got him to throw in, you know, postseason baseball for the Yankees, and that's what he did. You know, all year, you know, seeing him throw, he's he takes it to another level. But this time, he took it up another notch. And um, you know, when he got that type of intensity and that type of, um, you know, just being an animal out there, you know, just attacking hitters, you know, doing his thing, and um, that was that was fun to be a part of. And you know, looking forward to more out of him. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. Next one to Brendan Cuddy. Aaron, you guys hadn't seen Bieber all year. Can you tell us what kind of planning goes into that, especially considering the magnitude of this game? Yeah, it's uh, just a lot of video. You know, watching a lot of video on this guy. Uh, you know, that's the biggest thing, like you said, not getting a chance to like a normal year, you usually get to come through and come through Cleveland once. They come to us once, and hopefully we get to see some of their guys. But this year we didn't. So it was just really, you know, a lot of guys just doing their homework. You know, I think up and down as a whole, as a lineup, we, you know, everyone was, you know, doing their homework. You know, even me, I was staying up late, you know, watching a lot of video on their guys, their bullpen guys. And, um, you know, we just came out and were able to execute our plan. And can you tell us what Marcus was preaching to you for that plan? Uh... I, I really wouldn't like to divulge, you know, we might be using it, you know, on a later date. Um, but we just, um, you know, the biggest thing I saw was we got pitches over the plate, we got mistakes, and we didn't miss them. You know, that's, that's a big part of it when you're facing the, you know, Cy Young winner like that. He's, those mistakes, you gotta, you gotta do damage on them. Thank you. Well, Next one to Marley Rivera. Hi, Aaron. Um, do the Yankees kind of relish, and I'm not saying that you guys are underdogs because that, that would be unfair to say when you guys do what you do, but when you finish the season so badly and then you start uh, this way, do you guys relish being kind of discounted or, you know, or not thinking that these are the true Yankees going into the playoffs? Um, you know, Marla, we believed in this team since day one, you know, and we really weren't too concerned with, you know, where we finished. You know, we always want to go out there and win our division, you know, be the number one seed. Um, like I know we're capable of doing, but we we're able to do that. So, um, you know, we just decided to turn the page and go out there and just continue to play our game you know, from the get go. You know, this is a team that guys get on base, guys drive the baseball. We got a power pitching staff, and we decided to come out there and do that today. So, um, you know, it doesn't matter any situation if we're the underdogs or, you know, for the top dog. Um, it's just about showing up in pressure situations. Thank you, Aaron. Cool. Next one to Ken Davidoff. Hey Aaron, what was a road playoff game without fans like? And and do you think you were able to turn that to your advantage anyway? Yeah, Ken, that was, uh, I miss the fans, you know, especially when we came here in 17. Uh, Cleveland's got some, you know, they always come out with a good crowd, always a rowdy crowd. And uh, it was it was a little different, especially, you know, I'm, uh, one of my favorite times is, you know, the, you know, pregame intros and everyone lines up. You know, national anthem. You know, everyone can kind of feel the jitters. You know, it's a little cold in there. Um, you know, I, I miss those moments. Um, but it's still, you know, they turned up the crowd noise a little bit, and you know, the intensity was still the same. You know, every everyone was living and dying on every single pitch. And uh, you know, I think, you know, crowd or no crowd, you know, the Yankees are still going to show up. Thank you, man. Cool. Next one to Mark Curry. Hey, Aaron. Uh you know, you were gesturing towards Glaber there after you got on base, kind of pointing, like, you know, at, at a fake watch on your arm. But, like, I'm just wondering, like, how much better do you guys get when he's locked in at the plate like he was tonight? Oh, man. Yeah, well, I was pointing at the watch because he was uh, he was talking about getting the, you know, post-game belt, you know, in the seventh inning. And I was trying to tell him, hey, man, we still got a lot of ball game left. I know you <laughs> we still got a lot of ball game left. So, uh we were just having some fun there. But when, you know, when GT, man, when he's doing his thing, man, he's one of the best play, one of the best baseball players in the game. You know, he's 23 years old, you know, comes up in big situations. You know, I think my favorite at bat of the night was him, you know, getting that RBI single and then driving a run. You know, that's that's what the game's about. That's what he does, man. He comes up and he can hit the long ball, but in pressure situations, we need that extra run. He's going to come up big for us. So it was uh, fun to see him get back on track and, and do his thing tonight. Thank you.